Matt Damon and George Clooney star in the new film, The Monuments Men. The movie looks at museum professionals turned into allied soldiers in World War II. They saved Jewish-owned works of art seized by the Nazis. But as Mark Strassman reports, the stolen portraits have a way of telling their own story. We start the bidding here at $100,000. $100,000 for this. $100, at the Sotheby's auction, four paintings stood out, and not only as fine art. $280,000. $300,000. They were all once stolen by the Nazis, part of Hitler's war on European culture. The Holocaust really begins with the theft of people's belongings and the destruction of what they believe in. Robert Edsel's book has become a movie, The Monuments Men. The unlikely heroes were middle-aged museum directors, curators, and art historians. The Nazis had looted Europe, and World War II was ending. Rembrandts, Raphaels, Leonardos, and a Renoir. It's estimated the Monuments Men recovered 90% of 5 million pieces stolen from museums and family collections like the Rothschilds. So those two and that one were Goering. Rothschild pictures. Now the two on the end were from Hermann Goering's Goering. collection. Lucian Simmons researches a painting's history of ownership called The Provenance. So as you try to establish the custody of the painting, yeah. It becomes much simpler Absolutely. because the Nazis kept good records and the Absolutely. money has been did a good job of tracking Absolutely. it down. You can see on the back. Here's how. Turn over the painting to find the Nazi inventory code. So on the back of this painting you see the initials BOR 58 and that stands for Botschaft or Embassy Rothschild number 58. It matches this Nazi document from 1940 when the painting was stolen. Describes as Italian 15th century. Inventory number BOR number 58. There it is. Parc Monceau. Edsel took us to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. It exhibits a dozen paintings recovered by the Monuments Men, like this landscape by Van Goyen. This is one of thousands of pictures confiscated by the Nazis from collectors in France. The Monuments Men found Nazi thefts hidden all over Europe, from castles to salt mines. They moved them to so-called collecting points and then returned with their original owners. And without them, these paintings... Exactly. Without them, these paintings would not be on the wall today. But thousands more works, including this masterpiece portrait by Raphael, were never recovered. The treasure hunt is still on. I think the treasure hunt's really just beginning. Fair warning, 580 and selling. At this auction, the four recovered paintings sold for a total of a million and a half dollars. 580,000. So... But the saving of European culture by the Monuments Men? Priceless. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, New York. An incredible but true story. And it really shows you the importance of art. As they said in the movie, without art you lose your history. That's what I thought. It's a movie worth seeing and you'll get it when you, when you go.